This is a Versaloom tutorial, part two, for warping the loom. In part one, we covered wrapping the warp bars. You should have ready your loom with spacers and the wrapped warp bars in place. You will need a one to two inch piece of tape, a needle on three yards of thread. Using the tape, secure the tail thread to the front of an insection. Wrap the thread around the insection two times. Insert the needle through all five beads on warp bar one. Pull excess thread through. Now we're working on warp bar two with the needle aiming toward the other four beads on warp bar two. Insert the needle through bead one only. Then pull all the thread through. You can always move your loom around to make it convenient for you to get through the beads. Now we're on the other side, which is warp warp bar one. Insert the needle through bead two only. Aim the needle toward the other three beads. Pull all the excess thread through and move to warp bar two. Insert the needle through bead three only. Aim the needle in the same direction as before and pull all the excess thread through. Back to warp bar one. Insert the needle through bead four only. Aiming the needle in the same direction as before. And pull all the excess thread through. Back over to warp bar two. Insert the needle through bead five only aiming the needle in the same direction as before. Pull all the excess thread through. We're going to change direction now. You're going to go to warp bar one and insert the needle through all five beads, but you're going in the opposite direction that you previously had gone. Pull all the excess thread through. Now you need to adjust the tension so it's taut. Not tight like a piano or guitar, but not so loose that the threads are sagging. After you have the tension right, then make a half hitch around the outside warp thread and snug that half hitch up into the edge bead. And that'll hold your thread tension while you get ready to weave, which will be in part three. Many of the Versaloom patterns shown here are available at sovaenterprises.com and beadpatterns.com.